from Diamundo. The festive season is now over. Now we're just dealing with the winter. It is quite cold today. Woke up and it must have been below two degrees. There was frost everywhere. But now it's about five degrees. I've just been grabbing all the logs for the fire. Gonna try and keep it burning as long as possible today. Keep the chill off the air. Despite the cold, it is still nice and sunny, which is nice. But you can see my breath in the air, <laughs> which is something that never happened in Thailand. Actually, maybe once, but we were on top of a mountain. The Ranja's still looking healthy, unbelievably. A few weeks back, I was talking about our energy bills being really high. Well, update on that. It did turn out that they did charge us too much. It wasn't a hundred and something euros. It was closer to about 60 or 70, which makes a lot more sense. So yeah, the electricity bill was wrong. Locals are out and about already. All dressed up for winter. I have actually been up for ages, but I'm gonna just make some breakfast now. I'm gonna use the new AeroPress that I got Sasha for Christmas. This is what the AeroPress is. It's kind of like a very modern cafetiere alternative using vacuum pressure. It's gotten some very good reviews. So anybody who is making coffee at home often, fresh coffee, this is a good option. I'll show you how it works. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven, Step eight, step nine. Slowly press it down and all the vacuum pushes the coffee through the filter into the cup. Makes a really good quality coffee. Don't know if you can see that in there, but it's not actually water. It's just the air pushing the water through. Quite amazing. The only snag is it does use filter, so you've got to keep throwing them away. Although you can use them more than once and you have to throw the coffee away inside immediately, otherwise it damages the rubber on the thing, so you can't forget to do that, otherwise you destroy your AeroPress. So you just get into the habit of doing it straight after you've made the brew. But it is a really good machine, and I'm glad I got it for her, because coffee at home is something that we always need when we're really tired, and this one makes a really good one. It's like almost like coffee shop standard. It smells lovely. Oh, I've been so busy doing the coffee and vlogging that I forgot my croissants are in the oven, they're about to burn. <laughs> I think I just saved them in time before they got burnt. Oh, Eden, are you cold? Do you want to put your jacket on? Put your jacket on. Fire is looking good. Story has just had her breakfast and has gone to bed. She had a shower too already, isn't she? Yeah. She's ready to go. More, <laughs> ready, more ready than me. Daddy hasn't had a shower yet. I honestly can't get over how good the coffee is in Portugal. I do think that now that we've had the standard of coffee that we get here, when we go to any other country where the standard is less, I'm going to really struggle. Mm. Especially if you have this to pay more good. for it as well. Coffee is so good here and it's such good value. Yes. One of the other gifts I got Sasha for... Christmas was this book, it's called The Blue Bottle Craft of Coffee. And it's got recipes in it and it's got the history and how to grow it. It's quite interesting looking book, lovely pictures too. We found it in a coffee shop in Hua Hin and then I had to search for it everywhere online. I managed to find it on Amazon, but only if you have an Amazon Prime account you can order it or something. So it's quite difficult to get, but it's a really good quality book. One of the kind of books that you'd put on a shelf and keep. Having a log fire is great, but there's one thing I have noticed about them. They're so high maintenance, you're constantly having to move the logs around to keep it lit all day. Now I was wondering if anyone's ever invented like a kind of auto-rotating log burner that keeps kind of gradually tipping them around like a washing machine so that you don't have to keep doing it. I know it sounds very lazy, but in the modern world, these are the things that you kind of think about. Yesterday when we were sitting here in the living room, I put Story down on her belly and on her hands and she pushed herself up and her head was moving around in the sky. She was holding her neck up all by herself. And I had to grab the camera quickly and film it because she looked like she was on the verge of doing her first little crawl. I know that she's way too young for that, but it was interesting to see that she's now got the strength to push on her hands 
Whereas before she couldn't even do that. She was just flat on the bed or on the floor and she couldn't do anything. So she's getting older, she's getting stronger. I find it quite exciting. I say this now, but soon you're gonna be running around annoying me, aren't you? You're gonna be annoying me all day. We're just eating lunch at home today. We had so many cheeses to get through that I just threw it all together with some salad. Sasha's finally written her to-do list, which was on the to-do list. A to-do list to do a to-do list. That's a hard one to say. <laughs> I cut my hair earlier. Actually, I think it looks all right. Today is one of those days where we just can't seem to get warm, no matter how long the fire burns for. Eden's been shivering away most of the day. Just wrapped her up in a blanket. I think that should do the trick. It's really difficult to stay on track of your own work when you work from home because everything is here. It's good, I think, to have a separate office in your house. That's something we've never had. And definitely when we buy a house, we're gonna have a specific place where we go for work and then go out there and then we can enjoy the rest of the evening somewhere else. I think it is essential for people who work from home. This just doesn't work. Still nice and sunny outside. Looks like we're not the only ones burning fires today. It actually feels much warmer outside the house than it does in. I've had this thermometer by the window and it says that it's 16 degrees, but it doesn't feel like it's 16 degrees inside the house. It looks like my little wrap worked. Eden's gone to sleep. Looking cozy in there. I spent a few hours last night cleaning up our YouTube channel, organising everything. So now you can binge watch episodes of certain parts of our journey in order. This is something that people have been asking me to do for a while. You can now watch all of the Living in Bangkok series and when we were in Thailand in the correct chronological order from the start. So you'll get to see everything that's happened. It is quite interesting for me just looking through the thumbnails to see how much life has changed in just 150 days or so. I look at it in a number of episodes now and I think about how much has changed between then and now. It is crazy. I also have now started to collect stories, birth years into playlists as well. So you can see from the pregnancy announcement up until when she was born and in her first year. I think this is something that's going to be important maybe five years down the line when people think, oh, I wonder what story looked like when she was two. I wonder what she looked like when she was one. And I do that with other vloggers. I look to see how much a baby has changed. So I thought it'd be a good idea for us to do that too. You can find all of these playlists in our playlist section on the YouTube channel or you can just go directly to our YouTube channel and you should be able to see them in there. Also, recently I briefly mentioned that we had merchandise now, which I haven't made many products, but I've put the links to the things that we have made in the description of every video. So if you want to see what's available at the moment, you can see them at the bottom in the description of every video at the moment. And as I add new products to the list, you'll be able to see them and I'll announce it in the videos every time something new goes up. I'm quite excited about it. I quite like the idea of getting back into doing a bit of design. It's something that I used to do. It feels good to do that again, getting a bit rusty. Okay, let's take a break from this living room, Eden. Let's take you out into the wild. It's probably warmer out there. I have the bean. She's attached. I think she's feeling cozy in there. I like to wear soft jumpers when she's in there, so when she puts her face on me, she feels nice and cozy. I'm gonna start in the garden, Eden. Was that boring for you? Mm -hmm. Garden looks nice though. It does look nice. Temperature is, where the hell, 19 degrees. That's pretty good. I don't know why I don't just bring my computer out here and work in the sunshine. Seems a bit silly not to, really. That's what being a digital nomad's all about, isn't it? Taking a laptop onto a beach or something. But I do think that's all bull. I don't think many people actually do that. Nearly all the leaves have come down now. When this tree is completely bare, then it will feel like true winter. Bimjla. Now that it's been quite chilly for a while, I am looking forward to the spring. I'm looking forward to exploring when all the flowers are coming out. Today, I'm actually wearing two pairs of trousers. You can't see, obviously, because they're underneath, but needed it. My legs were freezing. I felt like I was losing a lot of heat through my feet. Out here, it's lovely and warm, though. 19 degrees and sunny. You've enjoyed this, haven't you, Eden? It's been nice. Is 
He's always there, <laughs> bouncing up and down. Home sweet home. What a lovely view. Beautiful. Remember the first time I saw that view? I thought, yeah, home. Still feel like home? Yeah. Gonna have a green juice with some berries for an evening snack. We have a broccoli to use up for dinner, so we're gonna have broccoli cauliflower cheese. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hit thumbs up button if you enjoyed today. Don't forget to check the links below if you wanna see the merchandise. Three people have bought Escort t-shirts already. If it's possible, could you send me via email a picture of yourself wearing it so I can put it in the vlog? <laughs> I'd love to do that. Send an email to 8 home at gmail.com and we will see you next time. Bye. You're very close to the camera. What are you doing here? I've come to get a treat. What kind of treat? All the treats. It's near dinner time. Hmm? It's near dinner time. You have to wait.